Morning. Hey, Randy. Shout out to Jeb, your son. Tomorrow is his birthday. Tuesday. T Tuesday. Oh. On uh, Tuesday, he's gonna be uh, yeah. 19. <laughs> no, uh, like 24. Whoa! 24. I know. Oh. Wow. Hey, well, I don't have my coffee cup, but I have my religious socks on. These are my St. Francis of Assisi socks. Are you kidding me? Yeah, is that cool or what? He's got birds around him. Oh he's yeah, man. An animal lover. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hey, today we have our second graders making their first confession. Mm -hmm. Such a powerful day. I mean, for for kids, we we because we do it every year. It's like uh, we kind of lose like the the awesomeness, amazingness of this day. But like, let's see, forty years ago. Whoa, it's my fortieth anniversary. I mean, my first confession, and there was two in my class, a girl and me, and we made it on a Saturday. But you know, like I, I think it, you have seventy in this class, something like that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Seriously, it's sixty-eight huge. more than what you had. But like. Just two? I still remember. I mean, I don't remember yesterday, and I can remember my first confession. You're like, it was like, I wanted to do it. I believed, like, in the power of forgiveness and the sacrament, but, like, it was still scary. I had to, like, steal myself to, like, okay, just, you know, confess my sins. And I was scared Father was going to say something, you know, but he was so kind. And uh, I but, wonder what you confessed. <laughs> well, Randy, <laughs> what do you confess? <laughs> Father Matt, do you remember like your crazy. first uh, confession? I don't remember it. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> what happened? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember other confessions. I remember my confession when I was a senior in high school that changed my life. Whoa. Uh, wow. But yeah, but not when I was my first confession. But I, um, I do think it's interesting. Um, you know, little kids, they don't have as, as serious of sins, um, mm -hmm. but but yet it's it's still an act of freedom to be able to um, to release those because um, they, they they still they still know the reason that they go at second grade because they're at the age of reason yeah or they, they they know what is right and wrong they're very aware of this um, they can use their reason and so they they when they done done wrong they want to get that off their chest um, even if it's something small um, I have heard a lot of priests say. That hearing confessions of little kids is like being pelted with popcorn. <laughs> sure, <laughs> so sure. There's this little little things. It's, it's nothing real bad, but it's just it's constantly being tossed at you. Um, yeah, so it, it's a it's a powerful day to see uh, for them, but also everybody that that's around it, the parents and and the priests, be able to see uh, these these children get their sins away the first time and be able to receive that forgiveness. Yeah, you know, it's mm -hmm. like that is so true. Of, uh, for those little kids, it's like these things, they're, they weigh on them. So mm -hmm. that they have a sense of conscience, which is a really, that's a good thing. Pretty cool. You mm -hmm. know, and um, we need to reclaim our consciences again. I mean, like, that's the voice of God speaking to us. And I had so many stories of like parents will, you know, they'll greet their kids as they come out of confessional and they'll notice just, just like they're kind of glowing, you know, because it's not just a psychological release. I've told my counselor something. No. The Lord Jesus, through the sacrament, has reached into their soul and removed and washed them clean. That's a spiritual experience. It has psychological components because it, it's the mind and the thoughts, right? And their bodies are there. But it's so powerful because it's so spiritual. And uh, so today I'm uh, kind of inviting everyone because it's such an important day for them that it'd be an awesome experience. I'm inviting everyone to pray an angel of God prayer uh, for our second graders today, that they would have a great encounter with the Lord, knowing themselves forgiven and loved. So, I love that, and I'd love to hear someday about your awakening. Um, I can another say, day or no? I, I can say it really quickly. Okay, go, yeah. <laughs> go. Um, yeah, when I was a senior in high school, I had been saving up lots of sins, let's say, for a long time, <laughs> and um, I, I went on a retreat, and this is what Paul York was talking about. It's um, the, the release. Uh, so I came out of that confessional after, you know, a good 10 minutes and I, it was a supernatural experience. And I, I felt like mm. a weight was on my chest that had been lifted off. Like wow. that I really didn't know was there, you know, but I felt lighter. Right. And it does that there's sins. It's like in the Lord of the Rings, uh, Frodo carries this, this ring that gets heavier and heavier, um, because it represents the burden of sin mm. that weighs on us. And I felt that experience wow. um, in, that, in that one confession. So that's supernatural. It doesn't happen every time. But it is the reality 
that there's a, a way that we don't even know is always there that uh, waits on us that we want to have release that the Lord is willing to take mm. from us, mm. reach wow. into our soul Amazing. and take from us. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah. Amazing. So it's an experience that I always remember because um, I came out of the confessional and it was an adoration. I recognized the Eucharist for the first time. Wow. So I re recognized who it was. You know, oh, wow. Deep. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Speechless. Yeah, wow. and, and you see what sin does. It darkens the soul, so we can't see that. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. Yeah. Well, cool. We'll see you next week. Can't wait. All right.